Back here in Lagos, the state government has expressed readiness to collaborate with the private sector to capitalize on their unique strengths in organizing and generating profits within the sector. The Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Health, Dr. Olusha Goboye, made this known during the Lagos Health Summit 5.0, organized by Habib Moshud, with a the theme, Future Wellness Collaboration for a Healthier Population. At the event, key experts discussed the numerous benefits in the health sector. Destiny Momo reports. Improve health access and the quality of health services for, for the people of Lagos. The Lagos Health Summit has evolved to version 5.0. And key health sector stakeholders believe this is a positive step forward. At the summit, the improved National Health Insurance Authority and the government's partnership with the private health sector take center stage. Permanent Secretary, Lagos State Ministry of Health, keynote speaker at the summit and other stakeholders hope it will improve access to affordable health care in general. Extremely willing to partner with the private sector. Government doesn't have unlimited funds, and so we're looking to uh, partnering with the private sector to leverage on their comparative advantage, which is their ability to organize and, and turn over a profit uh, and run things uh, efficiently. Uh, then government has the ability to regulate the space in which work happens. So, um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic initiative. Uh, considering the fact that healthcare is a very critical aspect and so this is um, a group of people coming together to look at how we can move healthcare service delivery forward in Lagos State and it's a truly commendable thing. We responded to, you know, a lot of people just thought that uh, a PPP is only uh, initiated by the state government you know, it could be initiated by the private sector also. All you need to do is you have a good idea that is related to the health sector. You can approach them at the Ministry of Health or better still come to a bill of holdings, you know, and we look at it. In as to the progress that is being made in the sector as a whole, in not just Nigeria, but specifically Lagos, most people tend to focus on the negative. Most people tend to feel like we're going backwards. But then events like this really shed light on the things that the state is doing, as well as the private partners are doing in order to move things faster and in a better direction. Oftentimes, people forget that in Nigeria, we actually have better access to specific healthcare um, um, services than we do, than you would get maybe in the UK or even America where it's a lot more um, expensive. At the Lagos Health Summit convener and CEO Dr. Habib Mashoud, along with other panelists, discussed the widely accepted developments concerning future wellness collaborations as well as artificial intelligence technology in the healthcare sector. Basically, the the idea behind the theme of the event is to see that we bring about conversations that are geared towards partnerships. And these partnerships are wellness focused. Wellness is a very vital aspect of the healthcare industry. In fact, it is globally valued at about $4 trillion to show you how uh, massive it is. So we are going to unpack the potentials of it and looking at it from a perspective of how can we bring bring about collaboration from the various verticals in the healthcare industry, from pharmaceutical diagnostics, you know, hospital services, even nutrition and health, they have very much a uh, role to play as far as wellness is concerned. We have to talk about the use of technology in our healthcare delivery services. Uh, just like uh, the examples I gave up there, you can imagine going to a bank, and uh, you are needing an uh, ATM card, and within seconds you are getting it without, unlike in those days when probably you have to write a letter, go back home, they will now send a text message to you to come back and pick it up. But they provide solution. Just like was mentioned on the stage, there are some analog people trying to provide solution to our problem in this 21st century. The world has moved beyond the kind of policies they are bringing on board. You know, I love my panel talking about connecting the dots. I think good patient care is when the dots are connected. 
not when the patient gets great care at facility A, facility refers to facility B and gets poor care. 5.0 is really, really impressive. But the most important thing is that uh, we need to advance. Um, we do a lot of talking in some of these summits, but ultimately we need to move into action. What can we do and how can we collaborate? How do we get the message across to those that really need to do something? Government in low and middle income countries employ various payment methods to engage private healthcare providers in delivering services to the poor. Common approaches include public health insurance programs where the government where the government ensures disadvantaged populations and contracts with both public and private providers to offer covered services. Destiny Momo, Plus TV News.